So Ashish, uh, what are the factors supporting the earnings, and uh, which are the sectors, key sectors, which will benefit from the improved earnings? I think. Look, if you look at the index, or if you look at market cap, uh, by far the largest sector is banks, and they have like a big role uh, to play. Correct. Uh, so if you see banks as a sector, I think inextricably linked to credit growth. If you take the overall sector, their growth is inextricably linked to credit growth. So when the economy, you know, if you see pre-COVID, like I mentioned, 3.7 percent GDP growth, and FY 1920 or just before COVID, in certain months, the credit growth at a system level was zero growth. And if you see, barring couple of strong banks, uh, some of the smaller private banks. PSUs, everybody knows. You know they were. I think totally banking system wrote off nearly 10 lakh crores worth of NPAs, and RBI was obviously coming down heavily. So look at it this way: that post COVID, in the recent times, uh, the best turnaround. Uh, you know, after because before COVID, all the restructuring, the clean up, everything was done. That's why the number of accidents during COVID uh, were very less. And RBI's policies on you know NPA recognition and whatever leniency that we had, it all played out well. So you can see that the biggest turnaround has happened with public sector banks. Not only are they not making losses, they are making profits. Plus, they are able to. There is some amount of NPA recovery and there is some write back of provisions and those kinds of things. Second thing, if you see last year, everything about the war was not bad. If you see 2022 when the war happened and post COVID, you know when interest rates were very low. Both of these these things put together, low interest rates, the COVID experience, high liquidity, resulted in mortgage rates going very low and offtake for residential real estate picking up. Secondly, when there was a huge slump, there was a lot of money which flew in from all over the world into even commercial real estate, for example. So revival of real estate and revival of real estate has rub off on many things, right? I mean, it is steel, cement, etc. And plus the war itself. When the war happened, you could see that energy prices. You could see coal prices, steel, metals. So basically, a change of cycle, revival in commodity prices, revival in sectors like real estate, which we are witnessing a slump. I think that also, you know, the whole commodity cycle also helped. Uh, third, if you see, for instance, post COVID, there was an element of pent up demand, right? So when you see auto, uh, when you see uh, many consumer sectors, uh, so I think it's a confluence of multiple things and. 2020 till say end 2022 or mid 2022, I think it was broad based. From here on, I'm sure that you know there'll be some sector rotation and there'll be some other things at play. But last couple of years, I think if you ask me overall, our earnings would have gone up in north of 40 45 percent. If you take index levels, I distinctly remember say March 2023 when the financial year ends. You imagine that Nifty EPS will be 820 830. kind of range but if you look at pre covid we were well below 